Okay, so there's a DVD crammed in right there. I think that's why the DVD player's not working. <laughs> Look at that, the little princess. Oh, I got this thing for free. Cute little Orion 9 inch. And the screen's tilted, but other than that, we're going to get this thing fixed, hopefully. Here is the culprit. Shirley Temple broke my DVD player. So you're probably wondering why I'd even want to save this. Well, Orion's have a feature on them where you can uh, see how many hours are on it. And this one only had 28 hours. But since, it, since it's an ACDC TV, I'm sure it was in a, a camper or something, and got flipped over and that was jammed in there. And it caused the, a really bad bowing on there that I fixed. I had to cut off, uh, cut through the epoxy right there, top and bottom, to adjust the yoke. And to get the DVD thing out, I had to take this off, take the neck board off, and I could uh, pull it out. And now it works just fine. It's going to have a nice long life. And the DVD player, I'm pretty sure, is hooked up in S Video. This bad boy's stereo. And only 28 hours. Yeah, so stereo composite up front. And this thing can now live out its life doing what it was intended to do is watching DVDs. But a lot of them aren't going to have the remote. So Universal, none of the Orion codes worked, but the Toshiba ones under TV DVD. It was one, one or the other, the 0015 or 0115. That worked. So I could adjust everything. And the picture was so bright and crisp. Let's go ahead and check out that DVD player now. Now can do what it was meant to do. Play Tom and Jerry. Oh, the camera's not picking up how good it looks. Come on. Focus. Get out of there, band. Yeah, she's fixed. The end. So if you find one of these and the DVD player doesn't work, there's a good chance there's a, a DVD trapped in there. So don't just throw it away. Especially if it only has like 28 or 30 hours on it. I mean, come on.